Hey there, it's JP from the Latinx Estates Group. In this video, we're going to be discussing whether or not the market, the housing market in Kelowna, British Columbia, the Okanagan region, is going to be affected by the epidemic COVID-19. Hello everyone, this is Joanna from Lennox Estates Group. In the first three months of 2020, the real estate market in Canada was pretty good. Sales and the price kept going up. From mid of March, we can see the listing inventory started to drop because of lots of listings withdrawn or cancelled. Home sellers don't want to show the home or listed home during this time. However, compared with the same time last year, the uh, sold units and the price are still higher. For example, single family houses price in central Okanagan went up 3.6%, sales went up 29.4%, inventory dropped 11%. Our team is still quite busy right now. Buyers still can view the vacant homes or purchase the uh, pre-sale units. Buyers still can view the property with the virtual tour, um, the VR, the videos. However, we are expecting the market to slow down. From my communication with real estate agents in China, during the lockdown, the whole market froze. The market after the coronavirus outbreak start to come back normal. In some cities, the sales has been doubled or tripled since the developer and home seller offer great discounts. So I really like stats, factual information that can help relay information and kind of paint a picture of what's going to come. So we're going to take a look here at a little bit of information from 2018, 2019 and the last 12 months for single family houses, apartments and townhomes within the central Okanagan. This is going to give us a snapshot photo of where the market usually is and where the market is going. So in 2017, I did a similar blog post on our website, which you can see right here. And it's titled September 2017 Okanagan market update is a crash coming. Now this looked at a whole bunch of data all the way from 2013 regarding average sales versus inventory levels. We showed in the stats that a lot of the years were pretty standard and typical. And then in the 2017, we noticed a big difference. We also saw interest rates rise, which affected the market. We also saw provincial and federal tax regulations changing during that year. So we asked you whether or not you thought you were going to see a correction or a crash during that time around 2018. What did end up happening is we did get a slight correction coming down on 2018, 2019, where the prices in the market did do a little bit of a drop. Depending on the inventory style, it was affected in different ways, but there was definitely a correction. So again, coming back to stats and trying to paint a picture and assuming what's going to happen for the future of the market, we can see that there is going to be some impact. So here we have the active listings number of, which is the green line. And then we also have the sales number of, which is the blue line. This is a graph for 2018 for single family homes in the central Okanagan. You can see that the number of sales kind of starts going up around April along with the inventory levels they go up because the springtime hits and the inventory people put their houses on the market. So the inventory levels, that's normal. Sales start to pick up in April, which is normal, and then starts to go back down around winter time, December, November. And that's the typical pattern. If we take a look here at 2019, we also have a similar pattern. Inventory levels start going up in around springtime, come down around winter. Same thing with sales, goes up in springtime, and starts to come down around winter. Now, in the last 12 months, we're seeing something a little bit different. So the active listings here went down during winter time, which is normal, but we're in April already and the curve has kind of flattened out. It's not doing its nice upward motion like it normally does. So there is some hesitancy in the market regarding whether someone should try and sell right now. And also because they don't want people coming through their homes, less listings are coming onto the market as per normal. So what we're also finding though is, and this one's important, and the number of sales during January, February, March, 
especially March, we actually saw a little bit of a peak coming up. Now in April, you can see that they're really starting to drop. That's a significant downward trend compared to what we normally see in the previous years where April is an upward trend, 2018, 2019 upward. Here we are in 2020, and that is a significant reversal in trend. So what this shows to us is that there's a lot less people buying. January and February, the stats came out and people were thinking the market was doing really well. And that's true, but a lot of the stats inside of real estate sales are one or two months behind. So whenever you're trying to get a picture, you want to gauge based on what's happening in the current moment to kind of give an indication of what's going to happen in the next little bit. What our team is starting to find is that there's definitely a market slowdown and this can really affect pricing. Now, pricing doesn't necessarily have to be affected by this. If sellers hold on and they don't want to be dropping their prices, and if there's a lot of individuals here that don't go into foreclosure, if you can take advantage of the deferral program from the banks, for example, then we might not be seeing a market drop in price. It really depends on what happens. So another factor to consider is the stock market. The S&P 500 index has dropped drastically during the month of March and April. We're seeing a little bit of a V pattern coming back up, but a lot of economists are saying that this is just a false bull pattern and that we're probably going to see a lot more downward trend because people are still stuck at home, no one's spending money, and a lot of these businesses are only on cash flow during this time to keep them floating. So what may happen is a lot of people are going to have less liquidity, less cash to be able to purchase with, and the sales numbers are going to go down. When the sales numbers go down and people have to sell, that's when the market price is going to start to decline. So it's really important to keep in mind that this may be a good time to wait if you're buying because you may be able to find some good deals coming into the market in the next few months. However, the market may recover quite quickly and we might see price increase. We're not sure, we can't see the future. So a disclaimer before we go ahead is please keep in mind this is completely personal opinion. If you have any questions regarding real estate prices or tax or legal advice, please speak to a professional and get advice from your agents as you shouldn't be listening to a guy on YouTube with his opinions. So here we're also going to take a look at apartments. This is also apartments in central Okanagan. 2018 stats right here, which you can see here, April normal went started to go up and then winter came down again, which is typical. Same thing in 2019 in apartments, we also saw in April it went up and then in winter time it started going down, which is again normal. This is the last 12 months for apartments. Same as single family homes we're seeing in April, this is a big significant drop in downward trend. Hopefully we see it come back up again, but this is the same as single family homes and it's showing that sales really are in a decline. Now we're gonna take a look at townhomes. Now this is gonna be a com combination of detached, semi-detached and attached townhomes in the central Okanagan. So 2018, same kind of pattern that we saw in the condos and also the single family homes. April, we see the trend starting to go up. Same thing in 2019, we saw a really good trend of sales going up. But then here we are, same pattern happening here in townhomes. We have a peak of transactions going up in January, February, and March coming up into April. But then we have a very significant drop in sales coming into April of 2020. So all three of the different inventories are showing that the sales numbers are coming down. This is something to keep an eye on. And we're also noticing inventory levels in some cases are going up. So when we have more supply, less demand, economics typically shows that we are going to have a price decrease over the next little while. Also because of that stock market drop, we're going to see less sales since people have less cash to buy properties with. And there's going to be a long-term effect of what happens with businesses, whether or not people are going out of business or whether they're losing their jobs or whether they're losing their homes. This can really also affect the market. Hopefully this can give you a little bit of insight. I don't want to be doom and gloom, but these are the information that we have available to us right now. Whether the market goes up or down, that's still yet to be seen. So please don't take the advice of a guy on YouTube as the end all be all set in stone. Please do your own research and remember to let us know in the comments down below. If you have any questions, we can answer it as quickly as possible. Like and subscribe. Please subscribe to the channel as it helps the YouTube algorithm. And we'll see you guys on the next video.